Hi students, uh, today in this video we are going to talk about MOSFET transistor. The contents of uh, today's lecture are what is basically MOSFET and the types of the MOSFET, working of the MOSFET types and the difference between its types. So what is MOSFET? MOSFET transistor basically is a subcategory of field effect transistor and the full form of the MOSFET is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. We will talk later why we call it a field effect transistor. So there are two types of MOSFET, uh, enhancement MOSFET and the D MOSFET dip, which is called a depletion MOSFET. So both of these types are further divided into two categories N channel MOSFET and the P channel MOSFET. So the, this is a symbol for N channel E MOSFET and this is a symbol for P channel E MOSFET. Similarly, this is a symbol for N channel D MOSFET and this is the symbol for P channel D MOSFET. So how does uh, an E MOSFET works and what is the internal structure uh, of E MOSFET? You can see in this figure that there are three terminals, source, gate and the train. The fourth terminal is the body terminal. This is uh, not much important because uh, we uh, internally this uh, terminal is connected with the source. The main working of the MOSFET depends upon these three terminals, the source, the gate and the drain. On the right side here, you can see that uh, the, uh, the outer structure of uh, a MOSFET, here you can observe that there are three terminals uh, are uh, given outside uh, the body of the MOSFET. Uh, these three terminals are gate, source and the drain. Here you uh, can observe this is the internal structure of uh, N channel E MOSFET. Here the drain and the source. Source and the drain these are basically N uh, type semiconductor materials and uh, the body of the MOSFET is P type uh, semiconductor material. So this, this blue area is basically the depletion region has been created or has been made uh, be uh, between the P type body and the N type semiconductor drain and the source. The gate is not directly connected with the body. There is an insulating layer of silicon dioxide is between the body and the gate. So no electrons or current will flow from the body to the gate. So how does E MOSFET works? We apply the potential difference between the source and the drain and we need to manage the potential difference for the working of uh, e MOSFET uh, between the source and the gate. I mean the load has been attached uh, between the source and the drain whereas the working of the MOSFET uh, basically depends upon what potential difference you create between the source and uh, the gate. So here you, you can observe in this figure that uh, we applied a positive potential at the drain and negative potential at the source. Similarly, the positive potential at uh, the gate. So first we will understand that if we don't apply any potential at uh, the gate, so what will happen? Here you can observe that, uh, assume that there is no gate present uh, in the MOSFET and uh, the body of the term, uh, body uh, terminal has been uh, grounded. So if we apply a potential difference in this figure, you, in the figure B you can uh, see that we apply the positive terminal uh, of the battery at the drain and we apply the negative potential at the source. So drain and the source, they are both n-type materials. So uh, according uh, to the reverse bias uh, conditions, uh, if we apply the positive terminal at uh, the n-type material, and if the p-time material is also at a lower potential as compared to the n-time material, then uh, the junction will be reverse biased. But here you can observe that the source is uh, at the negative potential, whereas the body terminal is at the positive potential. So this uh, junction will be forward biased. But if we move to, uh, from source towards the trade, you can observe that uh, the depletion agent is gradually increasing towards the uh, towards the train. So practically no current will uh, flow between the drain and the source because this depletion region will be very very high. Similar is the case if we apply the positive 
potential at the source and the negative potential at the drain. So similar uh, uh, to the previous uh, discussion we uh, talked about with um, when we apply the positive terminal at the drain and the negative terminal at the source. Similar would be there no current will flow between the source and the drain. So the gate is very important because uh, in the operation of uh, a MOSFET. Here you can observe when we apply when we apply the positive terminal at the gate the free electrons present i i basically mentioned yellow circles with the electrons and blue circles or transparent circles these are basically the holes so if we apply the positive terminal at the gate you can observe that the free electrons which are available in the body of the mosfet they are moving or they are attracted towards the gate so more positive charge at the gate more electrons will start accumulating between the source and the drain. So it seems that a channel or a way has been created between the drain and the source. So electrons will have a path to flow from drain to the source. On the other hand, there is an insulating layer between the gate and the channel or and uh, between the gate or the body. Uh, the, the number of electrons which are, have been accumulated between the source and the drain will not move to the gate because of this insulating layer. But uh, why these electrons uh, have been uh, uh, accumulated here? Uh, consider the example of uh, a capacitor. In a capacitor there are two plates and uh, a dielectric material between the two plates. You can compare this situation with a parallel plate capacitor. Here you can observe that the gate terminal is one plate and the body is, the an, an, uh, is another plate and the insulating layer is the dielectric between the two plates. So electrons will be attracted because of the field of the positive charges uh, and the working uh, the, uh, the working of the MOSFET uh, because of this channel has been created uh, due to the positive charge or the uh, due to the positive electric uh, field of the charges so electrons will flow through this channel and we, we can say that this transistor is field effect transistor because the working of the transistor started after the effect of the field of the positive charges. Because of the effect of the field of positive charges, electrons from the body of the uh, transistor starts gathering between the source and the drain. That is why it is called a field effect transistor. So uh, now what is the main difference between an E-MOSFET and the D-MOSFET? So major difference between the E-MOSFET and the D-MOSFET is that in an E-MOSFET we create a channel by applying the potential at the gate. But in case of D-MOSFET, uh, already the channel already has been diffused or is diffused uh, during the manufacturing process. So we don't need to create a channel in case of a depletion MOSFET. Depletion MOSFET basically works in two modes, in a depletion mode and one is the enhancement mode. In the depletion mode, this is N-channel D MOSFET. In the depletion mode, similar, similar is the case as uh, we discussed or we talk about uh, E-channel, e e, sorry, E-MOSFET, N-channel E-MOSFET. We apply the potential difference between the drain and the source. The load will be at the drain. Now, for the working of uh, the transistor, we apply the potential at the gate. In depletion mode, in N-channel D MOSFET, uh, and to uh, work in the depletion mode, we apply negative terminal of the battery at the gate. Negative charges at the gate will uh, evacuate the electrons from the channel. Uh, as you know that negative negative charges repel each other so this negative charge will repel the already or built in channel uh, the electrons which are present in the built in channel will start moving away from the gate so more electron more holes will be created between the source and the drain so when more and more negative charge will be applied to the gate more electrons will start moving away from the gate and a point will reach when uh, uh, this limit or this width will be increased so much then there will be no current between the drain and the source. It's mean if we are actually 
maintaining the conductivity or controlling the conductivity by applying the potential at the gate. It means because the channel is already there, so uh, we don't need to create the channel. If we don't apply any potential at the gate, still electrons will flow between the source and the gate. But when we apply positive or the negative potential at the gate, the conductivity will increase or decrease. In enhancement mode, we apply the positive uh, terminal of the battery at the gate. Here, when we apply the positive terminal at the gate, this would be similar uh, to the enhancement uh, MOSFET where we apply the positive terminal and electrons from the body start accumulating between the drain and source. So, uh, channel is already there, but more electrons are coming from the body towards the channel. So, conductivity will increase between the drain and the source. So these are the characteristic curves of uh, an eMOSFET. You can observe there is a threshold voltage. Below the threshold voltage, there is no current or almost zero current. But when we increase uh, potential between the gate and the source, current gradually increases and suddenly current increases very high. Be uh, uh, even the, the variation in the voltage is very, very small. Here you can observe if there is no gate to source voltage, it means that there is no gate voltage at, uh, 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 there is no gate voltage, so no drain current will flow. Here you can observe if zero, there is a, a gate to source voltage, so there is no current between the drain and the source. But case it opposite to uh, that D MOSFET. In the D MOSFET, you can see here because the channel is already has been created uh, during the manufacturing process. Uh, so, if there is no gate voltage, still electric current will be very, very high or current will flow between the uh, source and the drain. But if we start increasing the negative voltage, this is the case of DN channel D MOSFET. If we start increasing the voltage towards the negative side, suddenly the drain current starts to decreasing and a uh, limit of the voltage will reach when the uh, this when this basically uh, this channel between the drain and the source will be so so large or depletion region will be so large that no current will be flow between the drain and the source i hope uh, you have understood the working of emosfit and the demosfit so start recalling that in the eMOSFET which create the channel by applying the voltage at the gate but in case of T MOSFET we do not apply any potential we only apply the potential to uh, control the conductivity of the channel but not uh, to create a channel between the drain and the source so these are the major differences between the drain and the source hope you like the video kindly like the video and subscribe the channel so I will upload more videos on electrons and many other subjects of in BSc engineering. Thank you so much.